Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so today's just going to be a quick one. I wanted to just do a quick demonstration on how to go about changing your speed and power settings within the controller itself. Um, it's quite a handy thing to be able to do, uh, especially if you use the U-Disk function, which is what I do a lot. So I do a lot of my designing on my laptop. I then save those designs to my USB and then I plug that into the machine and that's how I run my job. So this is a really good thing to know um, if that's how you use yours. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, demonstration and show you how to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to do one here. So at the moment I can tell you this is running at 150 millimeters a second as far as the speed goes uh, with 25% power. So this is on my 80 watt machine. Um, and I'm just going to go through, I'm going to increase those speeds a little bit so you can see the difference, show you how to do that, and then also uh, the power as well. So, just come back over the controller here, so hopefully you can see this okay. Uh, so, all you want to do is click on that enter button till it lights up blue, click it again. Then you've got this ZU button or your menu button, and you just use that to bring the bring it down, and then you can use your arrow key to move that cursor over. So, I don't know if you can see there, it's a bit bit hard to see but there is a cursor there and you just move that along until you get to where you like and then you can move those numbers up and down hitting the ZU button or the menu again can drop it down and this max power one that's your power setting um, so at the moment that's on 25 so you can go ahead and move that cursor over with the arrow key and you can change that I'm just gonna leave it on 25 uh, so for this one I'm just going to change the speed so from 150 to 250 go ahead and hit enter and then we'll run this one again you can see there now that it's changed. So we'll run this again. Now, this one is still running the same power, but it's running faster. So it should be a little bit lighter of an engraving because the machine head itself is moving, the laser head itself is moving quicker. So the engraving should come out a little bit lighter than the last one that we've seen there. So I'll just let this run again. And again, it's good if you're using that U-Disk option and saving those on the USB. If you're running it straight from your laptop through Lightburn, then obviously you can just jump straight back in and change those settings. So uh, this is, again, just a way to do it without having to get back into the laptop if you're just using the USB. So you can see that's definitely a little bit lighter there. Just move that out of the way and I'll get another one lined up and we'll go back in and change that uh, speed setting once again. Bring that file up so you can see it. So you can see there, 250 by 25. So just enter and then hit enter again, which opens up the menu. Using that menu button or ZU, you can pop that down. So I'm going to bump that one up to 350. And again, using the menu button, you can come down. Uh, and that's where you would go ahead and change your power. I'll, I'll leave the power the same at the moment and run this one. And then we'll come back in on the next one and I'll just change the power setting. So we'll go ahead and hit enter and save that. And then I'll run this one as well. So being again that we've left the power the same and we've sped up the machine, uh, this engraving should be even lighter again. So we've got the dark one on the far left, we've got the middle one, and then we'll have this one, which should be a, a, a fair bit lighter than that middle one. So we've gone from 150 millimeters a second up to 350 uh, using the same power. Uh, after I run this one, I'll just change the power and we'll bump the power up, but we'll leave it at this same speed and we should get a darker engraving. So you can sort of play around with that and you know change it up as you like. But as, as again, I said, it's, it's really good to have if you run your machine like I do, which is just off the USB. Well, mostly. I do use the laptop directly sometimes, but for the most part, I do it this way. Uh, so you can clearly see there, that one is really quite light. So I'll just set that origin there and we'll pop back over. So this time, exactly the same way, just gonna hit that enter button, brings up the menu. This time we're going to leave it at 350 and go down to the max power one. And we're going to change that. And we'll make that, um, I'll just go, I'll go 50. So double, so it was 25, now it's 50, but we're going to leave that at 350 for the speed. So go ahead and hit enter. And then once that comes up, you can see there again that it's 350 by 50 as far as the power goes. So this one's still moving quite quickly, but the power has been doubled. So this one should be a darker engraving than the last one. So let this run out and I can show you. 
So again, yeah, it's it's just a good thing to know, I think. And definitely, if you do use the controller itself to to do any of that kind of stuff, then this is probably um, one of the good things that that is, that works with this with this controller. So there we go. They're all done. So I'll pull that out, and you can clearly see there. So we've got that dark one at the 150 millimeters. 250 millimeters, 350 millimeters, all on 25% power, and then the last one at the 350 with the 50% power. So yeah, good little tip there. Hope you uh, find that useful. Uh, give the video a like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Cheers.